Hi friends, I have something a little different for you today. I uh, went to bed last night and could not go to sleep because the Lord was showing me some things in the Spirit. He was, he was talking to me and uh, I think He gave me a word for the church today. And interestingly, He brought to mind the scene out of the movie The Wizard of Oz where Dorothy and her friends are walking through the poppy patch. And it was so deeply impressed upon me that I got up last night and I looked it up. I looked up that scene and, and thanks to YouTube, you can go and you can find just that scene. Just, you know, you just Google the results. Anyway, so I watched the scene and it was very interesting and I think very appropriate for the church, the worldwide body of Christ today. And you know, uh, Dorothy and her friends were on her, their way to see the Wizard of Oz because he had the answer that they needed to get back home and to get all of the things that they needed. They, they were told that the wizard was the one that they needed to go see. And so we're, they took off on a journey uh, following the Yellow Brick Road, trying to find the Emerald City. And so they had come through all these hardships, all of these problems, all of these different issues that they faced, and they were almost there. They came out of the woods, they looked up, and they saw the Emerald City ahead of them. But at the same time, another scene is going on with the Wicked Witch, who is seeing them coming out of the forest, getting so close to their goal. And she knows that she has to stop them before they get there. So you see her and she's got her magic potions and she's staring into her crystal ball and she's saying, I've got to stop them. I'm going to put them to sleep. And so she creates this poppy patch and she says, it will be pleasant to the eye and, and pleasant to the nose or the senses. And so she's appealing to their flesh to get them to stop. And so they take off running through the poppy field because they see the Emerald City ahead of them. But those that have flesh, Dorothy, Toto, and the Cowardly Lion, they immediately fall down and go to sleep. And so the Tin Man and the Scarecrow recognize the problem and they know immediately, they have the discernment to see that it, it was definitely the Wicked Witch. And so they don't know what to do. They're crying out for help, loudly crying out for help. And in, in, in the Lord was showing me that this is, this is kind of a, a type and symbol of them praying. And the good witch, which that's a whole other side of the story, but she sends snow. She sends snow to cover up the poppies. And Dorothy and Toto and the cowardly lion start waking up. They get up. They run through the poppy patch. They, they continue on their journey and they reach the Emerald City. But see, the witch, the witch was trying to stop them. And the thing that was able to get them past that was the snow. And in scripture, God uses the example of snow in Isaiah. Um, let me see. That is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. And you know, God's people had gotten off track. They were living a sinful life. They rebelled against God. And in verse 18, he says, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. He's talking about repentance. He's wanting them to come before him and repent. And, and get things right. And so that snow represents a covering of repentance. And so the repentance broke the spell that had put them into a slumber. And I believe during this time right now that the church, the body of Christ, is deep within a slumber. We're going into a slumber. And we need to wake up from that slumber, folks. We have got to do that because our hearts are becoming dull. Um, we're not seeking after the Lord, you know, in our isolation. Instead of digging in deeper and getting closer to the Lord, we're allowing ourselves to be lulled into a sleep. And, you know, Paul quoted Isaiah chapter 6 in, in Acts 28. And in uh, Acts 28, verse 26, he's talking to the church, to the, to the Jewish people, 
um, that he was trying to convince that Jesus was the Messiah and they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it. And so he quotes the prophet Isaiah speaking to them. And he says in verse 26 of Acts 28, he says, Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing and their eyes have closed, lest they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears lest they shall understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. We need a healing to come into our land. But folks, our hearts are dull. Our ears are stopped up. Our eyes are not seeing what is going on in the physical and the spiritual realm. We've got to wake up, church, and become the body. Wake up. Wake up. We have an enemy that's trying to lull us to sleep so that we can't reach our goal and do the things that we have been called and created to do. So church, I'm speaking to you today as the body of Christ, wake up, get in the word, pray, worship, wake up, get connected to God, stay connected with each other, don't allow the enemy to lull you to sleep and miss fulfilling your destiny.